Sandbatch High School in Cheshire are committed to instilling the e-safety message within their whole school community. Technology is rapidly changing and on the back of that, communication between people is more or less instantaneous and what we're trying to do through our e-safety programme is to encourage all our students to challenge the source of the information and the nature of the communication that comes through to them. By appointing a school e-safety coordinator, they realised they could more effectively engage all stakeholders. Over the last couple of years, we know that we've delivered some really good uh, materials and programmes to the students here, and that's right the way through from year seven to year 13. Um, but it's all been done in a quite an evolutionary way, and we needed to now impose some structure and make sure that we weren't missing any tricks and making sure that every child gets the right sort of messages. By keeping staff up to speed on the ever-increasing online possibilities, Janet is confident that every pupil will get the support they need. Throughout the work on e-safety that I've done, I've tried to make it clear to staff, students, parents, this is a team effort. We all use technologies, we're all learning all of the time, and we can't know everything. So the more the team knows, the more we can support each other in our e-safety journey. But schools needn't navigate this journey all alone. Beg to produce a wealth of online resources to facilitate this learning process. The Safeguarding Children Online resource is a nice checklist to say where are you um, and just remind you of one or two things that maybe you've not done 100%. But also their uh, guidance on writing acceptable use policies is very useful and our acceptable use policies are in place but they've been in place for a while and I think it's probably about time we looked at them again, republicised them and made sure that they really do fit in with the new technologies. High on the agenda is getting the message over to parents. So the school is about to launch a survey investigating every parent's needs. Well, as a parent, we don't always know the systems and things, so it would be nice to have some sort of training to see where they're going and how they use it and what else they can use it for. I think schools should help parents understand what their children are doing so if anything like bullying happens or anything like that they can help. By getting a real dialogue going with all stakeholders, assessing and acting upon individual needs, the school is continuing to make every effort to keep their young people safe. My dream for the next 12 months is to engage the entire community in keeping our children safe online. In terms of whether this project will be successful, we'll be looking at enabling all of the young people to feel comfortable at using modern technology and the benefits that come with it, but in a much safer context.